children on the bus go up and down. We all know the popular children's song, The Wheels on the Bus Go Round and Round. But to some, the concerns may not be the wheels as much as the children going up and down. Recent discussions in the state have people pushing for a seatbelt law. We all use seatbelts in cars. Um, buses are different. They have the padding, they have the safety features. However, lap belts in small children have been shown to injure the child because in a forward crash, they fly forward and their head and everything will be hitting the seat in front of them. They're held down. So if there is a way, and I know they've tried a, bear, a variety of things to get the shoulder harnesses, once those are perfected, I don't have a problem with seat belts. With all the discussion concerning safety in school buses, one might ask, what are school bus officials doing to increase students' knowledge of safety and their proper riding etiquette? Traveling by school buses is by far one of the most safest means of transportation out there. So when it comes to safety, there's always room for improvement. Lap belts right now have been proven on the testing that they've done in the frontal collision could cause more damage to the student than by using the compartmentalization effect while they crash. So there's not a right way or a wrong way uh, right now, um, the compartmentalization, it's, it's passive. There's not a lot of expense into that for, for seatbelts and maintaining a seatbelt system. According to a report, some 24 million students travel more than 4 billion miles in a school year. School buses have a rate of 0.2 deaths per 100 million miles traveled, while automobiles are just eight times higher. Even though with these standout statistics, there's always more that can be done to improve the safety of school buses.